Financial markets are clearly shaken up at the moment, and the price action is most definitely justified. Investors are now seriously doubting the ability for the current Fed policy normalization trajectory to be able to offset inflation, with many now pricing in even more aggressive, less investor-friendly rate hikes going forward. Meanwhile, the downside pressure in the Chinese yuan has not gone unnoticed, with even more fear rising up from the prospect that conditions in China might be a whole lot worse than what they have appeared to be to this point. All of this has cleared the way for a heavy downside pressure on stocks while inspiring more demand for the US dollar, which is up across the board against all major markets over the past 30 days. Currencies like the euro and pound have taken added hits in recent sessions on their own fundamental setbacks. The euro hasn't gotten any help from the Macron victory and has come under added pressure after the Bundesbank issued warnings on the growth outlook, while the pound has struggled mightily with a horrid UK retail sales print and less hawk comments from BOE Bailey. Key standouts on today's calendar come in the form of German IFO reads, Eurozone construction output, and Dallas Fed manufacturing. That's all for now.